and you go, wait a second, what? time out. Shared constitution? You're talking to the president of Mexico about that? You should be in handcuffs. What are we doing here? And they said, well, we're trilaterals and we're all trying to make this work. So, so again, like I have problems with the the Biden administration because I don't know who they are. I have problems with the way they're handling the Trump thing. And I'm no fan of Trump either. I mean, I've got my problems with him as well, but take Trump out of it. It's just attacking your political rival and trying to put him in prison so that you don't have to run against him. That is a dirty trick um, under the best of circumstances. But when you look at what Joe Biden has become, you, 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 you start to make this calculation where like, well, they have to do something to Donald Trump. They cannot let him just go run on a, in, in some sort of fair fight against Joe Biden. He'll mop the floor with him. So we have to do something. And in fact, you know what? I the, the part that's been making me the most uncomfortable is how relatively calm the DNC seems about everything. You know, if I were the, in their position, they, 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 I would think that they would be panicked. Yeah, I think the only thing I saw that looked like panic to me was, but he and he was already really on the fence. Was Joe Manchin saying, "I'm I'm no longer a Democrat." He kind of yeah. was sometimes, wasn't sometimes yeah. as it is. But the D, you're, you're right. The DNC they they've been silent. Yeah, and you go, you're silent at a time when you should be rightly freaking out, but you're not freaking out, which makes me think that they know something we don't know. I I mean, maybe they're maybe they're totally incompetent, which is always something we should keep on, uh, you know, uh, as an option here. Yeah, Well, I know I I don't know if you saw this um, last week um, and it'll be a couple weeks ago by the time people hear this. But there was um, the DNC was going to miss the deadline to get Biden on the um, ballot in the state of Ohio because of when their convention was set up. So they're like, well, we'll hold a virtual convention. That's just a little quick one. So we can say he's the candidate. And to me, I don't see how you mess that up, right? Like you, you would be considering all the, you know, 50 deadlines across the country and territories and everything else. And they fixed it too. They went in and did, did a little tweaking and he's, he's now fine. He's on the ballot, but, but it makes me ask the question. You have one job to do. And you can't do it. You can't get your guy. I mean, there's a deadline. You, somebody in your office doesn't have a calendar. What is going on here? You know, so it's it feels there's there's incompetence. Um, but also you 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 think like, oh, boy, I mean, I wonder if they think they have it locked up. If I mean, I don't they should have no reason to think they have it locked up. You have Joe Biden who can't find his way off a of stage. And yet they're acting remarkably calm, which makes me very nervous <laughs> So when they're acting calm at a time when they should be panicked. I start to get nervous thinking maybe they know something we don't know. Maybe they know nothing. You know, it's totally possible that they're just extremely confident in their in their abilities or they've been, you know, um, stuck in their liberal bubbles where they think that everybody loves them when, in fact, nobody does. But but it it makes me think that uh, either somebody's going to parachute in at the last minute. And that they have that figured out or that they're going to steal it again or that they're going to do something. Um, I will say this about the Democrats when it comes to running these elections. They're much better at it than the Republicans. Yeah, they're are. they're boots on the ground and their ways of actually doing it. Like they're they're like a machine, man. They're incredibly good. They're very they're, good. They're, they're, the, their lawyers are all ready to go. Like everything's always ready. Yeah. And the Republicans, <laughs> I think, underestimate them in that regard and i probably would have too if i took one look at that you know the group that's like running things for the biden administration they don't really look super competent and they all you know and especially the boots on the ground it's more like high heels on the ground for all the guys and you just look around and you go mm, i don't know if this is really going to get the job done and next thing you know they're winning elections because of it too so so the the republicans need to get i'm a, I'm not on the red team or the blue team, but if I were yeah. advising them, I would say that they need to take that seriously because the Democrats will find people to vote for their candidates, whether they have to write their names in off of tombstones in the graveyard. And, and they've done that in the past, too. So there's no there's also no line they won't cross. They they are of the belief that the ends justify the means. So if they have to do some dirty tricks or break some laws or or you know um, beg for forgiveness rather than ask for permission, they're going to do it that way because they they don't they they also perceive Donald Trump as uh, 
a line in the sand in which, you know, like H- Hillary said during the first time around, which is, you know, we got to keep keep this guy out of the White House or else we're all going to be hanging. You know, like there's wow. the side of them that thinks that this isn't just like we want our guy to win. This this is something as long, as well as we want our guy to win because if the other guy wins, we all go to prison. That's a huge motivator well, it, too. So it's Charlie. It's almost like they're playing two different games, though. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, you know, you have kind of your standard neocons and, and and listen man i've struggled I've, I've voted republican at times i voted libertarian at times i'm politically homeless